Okay, in this video, I want to go over two examples in Simulate, and I'm going to do that in the same. Uh, actually, I'm going to just extend a, an existing model. Uh, so let's do the first example. We have an airline that's planning to open a satellite ticket desk in a new shopping plaza. So we're going to open up a kiosk to handle a ticket request. And it's going to be staffed by one person, so it's a single server. And we expect that the arrival rate will be 15 an hour, or every four minutes people show up. And we expect that the service time is going to be three minutes. We're going to assume all of our times are exponential to make it easy for us to start. And then we want to determine our system utilization, percentage of idle time, expected number of customers waiting, and the average time customers are spending in the system. So let me, uh, I've already started this, I've opened up Simulate. Let me, again, since this is a new model, let me go ahead and go through the effort of setting every, the travel times equal to zero. I'm going to take my clock properties and make it a simple count. I'll leave, put this at an arbitrarily large number and sim simulation time units. Okay. So I'm going to first create a place for people to arrive. These will be my customers arriving to the system and they show up every uh, four minutes, 15 an hour. And I'm going to model this in minutes. So uh, I, I decide before I build the model, I'm going to run this in minutes. So I'm going to run this every four minutes. If you wanted to, you could take 60 over 15 if you wanted to use the existing arrival rate, but I'll just say four minutes. And I'm going to give them a place to wait. And then they hit my kiosk. This is my server. And I, it says they take three minutes, and it's also exponential. And then they leave the system. And it's asking me system utilization. How do I calculate system utilization? That is going to be how busy my, uh, my kiosk is. So I'm going to go to results. And the percent of time working is how I calculate system utilization. It gets a little bit more complicated as we um, have different types of work centers and different places to work. But essentially, system utilization is how busy you are. It also wants the percentage of idle time. And the percentage of idle time from an activity standpoint is the, the time that it's not working. And that's the awaiting work. So the percentage of time that they're not working is when they're waiting for someone to show up. So I'm going to right click on that and get that number as well. So I'm, I'm getting awaiting work and working percentage. One of them is system utilization. The other one is the idle time. Expected number of customers waiting. That's the average time in queue, average number in queue. So I go to my queue, I go to results. And this, if you notice, the top of it is the number, the bottom of it is the queuing time. So I want the average number, so I want this number. Right click on it. Average queue size. And then the last one, average time customers will spend in the system. That is the time in system. Go to results of the checkout. Right click it. There they are. I go to the home. I'm going to run a trial. I'll use the default run a trial. And there's the answers. So it looks like that the system uh, utilization is about 75%. The percentage of time when uh, idleness is 25%. So 25% of the time, the server has nothing to do waiting for someone to show up. The other three-fourths of the time, they're working. The average queue size, this isn't the max, but the average number of people waiting is between two and three people. And the average time that someone would be in the system from entering the system, waiting, being processed, and leave the system is between is around 12 minutes. We have confidence intervals. We'll talk about those later, but let's just kind of focus on the average or the middle right now. And I could copy this to Excel. Um, I could go to Excel. I could copy to the clipboard, open up a spreadsheet. Do a paste. Don't need the five in the middle. And then I could run and reference these in terms of an analysis and write about those. 
Second one is a taxi company has seven cabs stationed at the airport and people show up and the next available person gets the next cab. cab. So I'm going to modify this. Um, the late evening hours, customers arrive at 6.6 people per hour. So if I wanted to convert this to a minutes, I can first of all multiply or uh, it's 60 divided by the rate. So it's 6.6 .6 per hour. If I wanted to find the time between arrivals an hour, it would be that. If I want to convert this to minutes, it would be that times 60 or 6.6. .6. So that will give me the time between arrivals in minutes. And they show up and they wait in line for the next available taxis. These are a taxi now. And it says that once someone is in, this, in a, a taxi, it takes uh, 50 minutes for that taxi to drop someone off and come back to pick up someone else. So this is 50, and again, we're doing everything exponential. And we need to find system utilization, average waiting line length. We already got that average waiting line time. Let's, say, let's grab that one. The results, the average waiting line time. That would be queuing time. The average, I'm going to right click on this. And the only thing now is that we don't have one taxi. We have seven taxis. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to left click, right click, duplicate wizard. I'm going to duplicate this six times to give me a total of seven. And I'm going to drop it down every 60 pixels. I'm going to make that not quite as far. I'm going to drop it down every 40 pixels. Look there, there's your seven taxis. So we wait in one line for the next available taxi. They eat up there, they're in the taxi for 50 minutes and then after 50 minutes that taxi is dropped them off, returned and available to pick up someone else. So now when I would run this one, I can answer the question. The first one is system utilization. Well, I've got taxi, activity one is the first taxi. The, its utilization is about 80%. Same for taxi two, which is about 80%, 80%. So the answer is system utilization would be the average of all these, but the average of a bunch of 80s is 80. So the system utilization would be 80%. The next question is average line length of the queue. The average queue size is about 1.77. So between one and two people is the average. And then the average waiting line time Again, for the queue, the average queue time, it's about 15 minutes. So it, you're going to wait between 15 and 16 minutes um, for a, a taxi. The other way to say it, if we would run many trials, then these confidence intervals would get smaller. But another way to say it is that I'm 95% sure that the average time is between 7 and 24 minutes. Okay, that's the first two examples. Uh, very quickly, thanks.